Apply some strict discipline to your fines. How? Don't give them the chance to disobey your directions. G'day, I'm David Johnson, FMC Spray Drift Researcher. And over the past 12 years or so, I've spent a lot of my working life developing tank mix agents to help farmers get more area sprayed with less risk of losing that spray over the fence. So, what are fines? Fines are those tiny droplets, smaller than 200 microns, that every ground rig boom spray nozzle makes at least some of, no matter how coarse that nozzle's rated. It's these droplets that are so ready to cause trouble when they don't obey your directions. Fines can stop in the air when projected out of a spray nozzle in as little distance as 50 centimetres. Once they've stopped, the wind can take them wherever it wants to. In this series of videos, we're going to show you how you can reduce your risk of having the chemicals you're spraying move off target while you're applying them with a ground rig boom spray. Our take home message is simple. Make as few fines as possible while still getting the spray job done well. And by using the drift reducing adjuvant on course DRA, you'll be making as few fines as possible in the first place. As well as ensuring your spray job is being done well, there's less chance of ill-disciplined chemicals finding their way off the paddock. One of the ways you can give a fine every chance to disobey your directions is by setting up your boom too high. We recommend a boom height of 50 centimetres above the ground or the top of the stubble. The slower you travel, the lower you can set the boom. So set it up the lowest height that you can. Here's why. For every 20 centimetres above 50 in boom height, the risk of spray drift increases fourfold. That means that if you have your boom set at one metre, you just increase your drift risk 10 times. How to turn a 20 metre spray buffer into a 200 metre spray buffer. How many of you are now thinking about the height those bouncing boom sections might reach 24 metres away from you in the cab? With more height, fine droplets have more of an opportunity to be pulled from the spray fan on their way to the ground by the movement of air through the fan as the ground rig travels forward. They have more of an opportunity to be projected upwards by wake effects generated behind the boom. They also have more of an opportunity to evaporate, become even smaller and be joined by more fines as those a little larger shrink into the fine category. Finally, with more height, Fine droplets have more time to come to a complete stop in the air before reaching the ground. With a starting velocity of 40 kilometres an hour, a 100 micron droplet will stop in just 34 centimetres and a 200 micron droplet in 137. Once they have stopped, a droplet will then travel where the wind says. If you really feel you need to have your boom higher than recommended or your equipment just does not allow you to spray with a 50 centimetre height, and it's crucial you don't push any other spraying boundaries. Particularly use the coarsest spray quality, be aware of what spray quality your nozzle selection is really producing, change your nozzle to one that produces fewer fines, use on course DRA and increase spray volume. Above all, avoid spraying in still conditions, excessively windy conditions, and most importantly, inversion conditions. So, if your fines haven't been obeying your directions lately, by consistently following a few basic principles and not cutting corners while you're spraying, there are some ready ways in which you can reinstill some fines discipline. Mm -hmm.